Uh, shot early in, the, in, in this match because he basically just wants to feel his way in but then that was a normal service resume with beautiful cue in there. It's good to see Dave Gilbert having settled so early then with that first frame on the board and, and he's a man who really we haven't seen a huge amount of but that run to the international championship final was really top notch it was a real breakthrough moment for him at the tail end of last year. Very much so and he's matured into a much better player I mean he, he, I, I remember playing him and he's old enough he's been around long enough I think I played him one of the last years I was playing and I thought nice player but you know, could put a bit more effort in at times. He looked a little bit lackadaisical towards it, but he's not now. Yeah, 13th season as a professional, and we'll get back to frame three. Yeah, he just joined us as he missed that attempted red, but uh, I think he's got away with it. Blue's blocking the path, or maybe... Oh, it will pass the blue, so he didn't get away with it. One. John Power just alluded to the shows that Ronnie's been doing around the country and in various countries. He's been to Romania playing exhibitions and travelled to Three. various venues throughout Europe. But his interview at the Welsh, <laughs> I find so funny. When he puts this red, I'll tell you, he was interviewed and he said uh, Four. he uses the tournament for practice for his exhibitions. <laughs> Never heard that one before, did <laughs> But you always get something uh, different from Ronnie. But he's loved doing the shows. I've done a few with him and great nights. The people, even in small clubs, uh, come along and pay a lot of money to see him. And he's made uh, a fair few maximums in those shows. But make Eight. no mistake, he'll have put a lot of practicing on uh, the proper match tables. The exhibition tables and club tables, the pockets are much easier. <coughs> Couldn't go straight from playing on bigger pockets, you'd be lost. Looks like a nice angle, just a drop in between the black and the red to the left of the black. Move that, move the black into the right corner. That cannon. Still potable, this black. Needs more attention. Nineteen. frame lasted just uh, over eight and a half minutes. This one might not take too long, although you know, the balls are not perfectly placed by any means. Thirty-five. Thirty nine. Forty. Well, it's flown off the cushion. This is going to be perfect on the black. Shows terrific focus there because he did get a very springy bounce off the cushion. 
Never even bothered about it. Go down and pop about that. Thirty-eight. Yeah, difficult plug. It wasn't straightforward. That it is now. Well, as I mentioned, I uh, didn't think this frame was going to last very long either, and it's proven to be. Already 54, 54. in front. Nothing Dave, David Gilbert can do about this. 55. Well, as you said, Stephen, David's, if he gets a chance, he's just going to have to go all out for it. Because he's not going to get that many chances looking at the way Ronnie's queuing here. 62. Not going to be easy to make a century break because of the red near the cushion. 77. 78. And I mean, this man is, well, holds the record now. He's made 819 centuries. 74. And he's not going to make a century now. 84. Yeah, one of his ambitions is to get to a thousand century breaks. Wouldn't that be something? Not a bad effort, but before no century yeah. break. And yeah. once again, he only needed one chance, and Ronnie O'Sullivan took it. And with that break of 84, he now leads.